this is my third try of trying to make a video for my first podcast. So I'm a little bit frustrated and I hope it doesn't come through in this video because I thought the last time I thought I was recording, I thought I was doing very well. But anyway, I've been wanting to do a podcast for quite some time now. Uh, I hope to be able to do it from right here on the boat dock, which probably can't be seen in the video very well, being that it's about 4.30 in the morning. But uh, even when the weather's warm, it's often decent down here because of the wind coming off the water and I think it's just a nice setting but if weather if conditions don't permit I'll find another place to do the podcasts but I hope to talk about current events and things going on in the news uh, maybe some politics uh, and religion is something that I'm particularly interested in, uh, being an atheist. Uh, so I will probably want to discuss Islam and Christianity in particular, but maybe some other religions as well. Uh, and I will try to have guests on as often as I can to talk about whichever topic uh, I don't want to have any kind of a rigid plan I just want to do something simple and try to keep things to where they're not boring uh, I would like to have on some teachers because I think teachers should start incorporating critical thinking into their method of teaching for whatever for whatever subject they might happen to teach. Uh, I think introducing some aspects of critical thinking would help classroom discussion and get students involved more and it might even help the teacher to become better at their job and help the students to become better students. I think it would work especially well in subjects like history or government or whatever form of social studies they might be taking, but especially in English class or whatever may be the first language if it's a, you're in a different country. But in the English class, you have a perfect opportunity to introduce critical thinking as a primary function of language because thinking language is what gives us the ability to form complex thought about nearly anything without language it would be hard to think about anything very complex. And teaching that it is should be primarily used to think critically is something that I think should already be being done in the English class. But especially with the way things are with information being right at everyone's fingertips. Kids need to learn how to recognize when a claim or a story is false. And they need to have the tools to recognize the things that would lead them to believe it's false or lead them, critical thinking could help them 
to know what questions to ask when they hear a claim and why they should ask those questions. Um, and they should be able to recognize contradiction and some of the other basic common logical fallacies. Uh, I feel like our generation, or I'm in my mid-40s, uh, but I feel like people like us were done a disservice because we weren't taught critical thinking. And I think we have an opportunity to teach kids this now so that they will so that teachers can be better teachers and students can become better students and so that the next generations coming through school will have the ability to recognize when a story is false or recognize information or have the ability to recognize and that an advertisement is unrealistic and that the claims made in it trying to sell a product are false. Even though I have some critical thinking skills, I have trouble sometimes determining whether or not something is true. And kids need to learn how to make things like value judgments as well. Uh, be able to tell whether an idea has any utility or what it, what it can be used for. Uh, so that they can determine whether it has any value and why and how much. So that they will know what things they kind of things they should pay attention to or what's worth putting time into and uh, in the classroom uh, I imagine things are so much different because locating information is so much different than it used to be but uh I've noticed a lot of times when people are trying to uh, argue f in favor of whatever claim they have made or prove a point, a lot of times they will just go on Google and find a few things that happen to agree with them, not realizing that there's no way that for Google to have a filter <laughs> to filter out things that are false and that false claims are just as likely to make it onto Google as true claims uh, so children need the tools so that they are equipped to locate information that is credible and recognize information that is false and for them to recognize why a claim is false and what the things are to help to show them that a claim is true that will also help them to be able to present it to another person whom they're having a disagreement with and show them why their claim isn't true and why your position is the correct one. Uh, I think that should be something that our culture really starts to put some time and effort into because especially here in America our education system is not doing too well and compared to other countries I think in general in education we're ranked somewhere in the 20s maybe even worse now it's been a while since I've seen 
a current number, but it's not good, especially in a nation with the resources and wealth that we have and the money we spend on education. Uh, countries like Finland especially and the other Scandinavian countries, their children there test far better and most college after high school in those countries is free and that's something else we'll probably have to discuss whether or not paying a little bit extra in taxes so that kids can have an extra four to six years after high school is something worth doing because I think that's an investment but anyway, I don't want things to get boring, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I hope that you keep up with my channel to see what I've got going on in the future. Thanks for listening.